Hey guys, welcome to Film World. Today I'm going to explain a thriller film called The Cops of Anna Fritz from 2015. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie opens when the dead body of a young woman, Anna Fritz, is being wheeled toward the morgue of the hospital. A news report reveals the sudden death of famous actor Anna Fritz, who was found dead at a party, but the cause of death is unknown. Her body has been moved to the hospital for the autopsy. Meanwhile, Ivan and his friend Javi go to visit their friend Paul at the hospital. Where he works as a morgue attendant, the three of them are planning to go to the party. But Paul is reluctant as he informs them his shift will end in an hour. But he decides to join them outside the hospital for a drinking session. Outside, the three of them get extremely drunk while discussing the sudden death of Anna Fritz, as she was one of the biggest actresses, and they are also her fans. During their conversation, Ivan asks Paul if they can see Anna's dead body, but Paul refuses, not wanting to take such a big risk at his workplace. Ivan still. doesn't give up and insists that Paul let them see her dead body after a lot of convincing Paul and Javi finally agree to proceed with his request Paul carefully leads them toward the morgue making sure that no one is watching them as it is forbidden to go there after reaching the morgue Paul takes them near a dead body seeing that it is Anna's body but when they take the cover away from the body they are shocked to see that it is an old woman instead of Anna as they were expecting Ivan and Javi are startled by this sudden change But to their relief, Paul starts laughing, saying he was just joking with them. Paul finally takes them towards Anna's body, and this time, when they remove the cloth, they are satisfied to see that this time it is really Anna. Just as they expected, Anna is very beautiful even after her death. And seeing this, Ivan moves the cloth further down so he can take a better look at her. Ivan is the one most obsessed with Anna and starts touching her body constantly. Javi and Paul are both repulsed by his actions, as they think that it is not good to do this with a dead boy. Ivan is not faced by their comments and instead urges Javi to join him who reluctantly agrees with him and slowly starts touching Anna's body Ivan still doesn't stop there as he says that he wants to get closer to Anna's body Javi is not happy with his advances and tries to stop him from doing something so gruesome but Ivan seems determined to move forward with his plan seeing Anna as just a famous and beautiful actress instead of a dead body as Ivan loudly shares his idea wondering if it is possible to have sex with a dead body Paul jumps into the conversation saying that if he wants to do this he will have to use saliva as a lubricant they are surprised by this information and ask Paul if he has done something like that before Paul confesses that he had sex with a dead body of a teenager before Javi is disgusted by the idea and tries his best to stop them but they refuse to listen to him leaving them with no choice but to watch them do these activities before touching the body again the three of them move aside to take some drugs after that Paul and Javi we move to an adjacent room by Ivan goes to have sex with the dead body of Anna Fritz after Ivan comes back Paul goes to do the same with the dead body and while he is indulging in having sex with Anna he fails to notice that Anna's eyes are open and she has come back to life Paul continues to be intimate with her without knowing about her waking up but when he notices her opening her eyes he stumbles back due to extreme fear and starts screaming loudly Ivan and Javi who are taking drugs in the adjacent room hear Paul screaming and rush outside to find out what happened. Paul tells them about Anna waking up and after seeing her open her eyes, Paul and Ivan get frightened by the possibility that Anna knows about them raping her and will inform the police about it as soon as she gets out of there. Not wanting to take any risk, Ivan suggests that they kill Anna, but Javi ignores his suggestions and instead goes to help Anna as he helps her drink water and then covers her body with the cloth. Javi then goes back to Ivan and strictly rejects the idea of murder. during Anna saying they can't do that and since Ivan has raped Anna he must get the punishment for that Ivan gets furious at Javi's statement and attacks him punching him repeatedly even after he falls to the ground Paul quickly intervenes as he pulls Ivan back as they both realize that Javi has hurt his head pretty badly and is bleeding profusely they take quick action as they move to give first aid to Javi but suddenly remember that earlier one of Paul's colleagues came to place a dead body in the morgue and while leaving he lost the door which makes it impossible to get any kind of aid for Javi as they drag Javi's body to the side Anna lies there silently watching them move around as she is unable to move her body probably because of the overdoses that had caused her coma earlier after moving Javi to an adjacent room they also moved Anna's body there and Paul quickly changed his coat to hide the blood stains before they could do anything else another morgue attendant came there Paul quickly goes outside to talk with his colleague and sensing that there is someone else 
is there, Anna tries to shout for help. But before she can do so, Ivan puts his hand on her mouth, stopping her from making any kind of noise. Soon, Paul leaves the morgue with his colleague, while Ivan checks Javi's body and is devastated to see that he is no longer breathing. He shakes Javi's body violently, trying to wake him up. And seeing all this, Anna says that Javi is already dead. Ivan is shocked by his friend's death and just sits there smoking a cigarette. When Paul comes back to the morgue, he is also shocked by Javi's death and starts crying. But Ivan comforts him, saying it was just an accident and they didn't do it intentionally. Listening to them, Anna says that he will get jailed for what he did with them. Ivan harshly tells her to stay quiet and drags Paul outside, where he tells Paul that if they get caught, their lives and futures will be ruined. So they have to hide Javi's dead body and kill Anna. Meanwhile, inside the room, Anna pushes her body off the stretcher and slowly drags herself toward Javi's body. She takes out his phone in the hope of calling someone for help. But before she can dial any number, Ivan and Pop come back and immediately snatch the phone from her hand. Ivan quickly checks the dial history and finds that Anna had called someone even though she didn't get a chance to talk to them. They put Anna back on the stretcher and started moving her somewhere else. When they are in the corridor, Javi's phone starts ringing as it receives the call from the number Anna had dialed earlier. It is revealed that Anna had called her father and when Ivan picked up the call, Anna again attempted to shout for help. But this time, Paul put his hand on her mouth, stopping her from doing so. Ivan talks to her father, saying that he had mistakenly dialed the wrong number and then hands up the phone. Ivan then pushes Anna into the morgue and slaps her heart. Anna is heartbroken by all these events and again tells him that he will get punished for what he is doing. In reply, Ivan starts shouting, saying that she shouldn't forget she was a dead body a few minutes ago and now he will kill her for real. After that, Ivan leaves the morgue to bring the container for Javi's dead body, while Paul starts tying Anna's feet. As they are left alone, Anna tries to convince Paul not to do all this by saying that he shouldn't help Ivan as he was the one who did all this and Paul has nothing to do with it. She says that Ivan is the one doing all this because he is a liar and also the one who killed Javi. Paul is not convinced as he says that Javi's death was just an accident. But Anna says that it is not the case because when he left with his colleague, Ivan killed Javi by choking him to death. Paul is slightly worried about what she said but before Anna can say anything else, he tapes her mouth and goes inside the room to clean the floor. Anna decides to take advantage of the situation and again pushes herself off the stretcher, managing to crawl out of the morgue. Meanwhile, Ivan comes back to the morgue with the container and starts panicking when he finds that Anna is not there. He quickly informs Paul about it as they both rush to find Anna, who has crawled further away. After dragging her body further, Anna finds an elevator and goes inside. But before she can move from there, Ivan stops at the door of the elevator and drags Anna back toward the morgue. Back in the morgue, Paul says to Ivan that he knows about him killing Javi, to which Ivan replies that he killed their friend but it was just an accident. Paul says that he knows Ivan choked Javi to death. This accusation makes Ivan nervous but he insists that it is just a lie and he shouldn't believe what Anna is saying to him. Leaving the topic of Javi's death, they start discussing a way to kill Anna so there is no evidence left behind. Ivan suggests that they should suffocate Anna and Paul agrees with his suggestions. Paul brings him a cloth that they can use to kill Anna. But to his shock, Ivan gives the piece of cloth back to Paul, saying that he is the one who will kill Anna. Paul is reluctant to do so as he starts to believe that Ivan intentionally killed Javi. But Ivan is determined not to get jailed for anything and pushes Paul's hand onto Anna's mouth. Anna struggles but she can't hold back for long as she once again loses loses her life. After that, they put Anna's body back on the stretcher and put Javi's dead body in the container. Ivan drags the container out of the morgue while Paul cleans Anna's dead body, covers it with the cloth and puts the stretcher back in place. Outside, Ivan dumps Javi's body in an alley while inside the morgue. Paul decides to take a last look at Anna's body and when he takes off the cloth from her face, he is surprised to find her awake once again. Paul calmly tells her to stay quiet as it is revealed in a flashback that he and Anna Anna had planned all this and she had acted dead before she could suffocate. Soon, Ivan comes back to the morgue and as they are about to leave, Ivan checks his wallet and finds that he has left his ID inside the morgue. He rushes back inside, ignoring Paul, who tries to stop him and as he goes inside the morgue, he is shocked to see Anna standing there alive. Ivan is furious to see that and starts shouting at Paul for helping Anna. In a fit of rage, Ivan starts to choke Paul, accusing him of trying to put all the blame on 
on him. Eventually, he stops announcing that he does not care anymore if Paul wants to go to jail. As they are arguing, Anna sneaks up behind them and stabs Ivan twice in the neck. Ivan bleeds to death while Paul cries, saying to Anna that they didn't plan to do this and that Ivan had already announced that he would leave. Anna doesn't reply to him and instead just stabs him repeatedly. The movie ends as Anna sits there with tears in her eyes and blood splattered on her face. To watch more explanations of these kind of movies, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, thanks for watching.